The Flame in the Flood is a single-player exploration survival game developed and published by the Molasses Flood, not to be confused with the Great Molasses Flood of 1919. This team features members who develop games such as Bioshock and Halo. This game features roguelite elements where you'll have to advance through the wilderness laying behind Camp Pinewood, a rundown and isolated stretch of North American wilderness on foot and on raft. The forest is empty and there's nobody about except crows, wolves, rabbits, and who knows what else. On the way, you will have to stave yourself against bitter winds and rage attacks from wolves, injuries, and illness. You'll also need to make sure that Scout, your character, is well fed, hydrated, kept warm, and well rested. She can take a beating here and there, but it'll show as your stamina depletes and your portrait takes scratches. As the objective is to keep traveling and find the dog's home, you'll find it doesn't pay to camp in one spot for long. To do this, you'll stop at small islands and harvest resources and rest before hitting your raft and steering down the rapids till you need to stop again for supplies. As with any roguelite, there's the risk of deciding whether it's worth stopping. Maybe that island you'll break at has a wolf waiting to stare scout limb from limb. Perhaps the water is infected and you haven't crafted a water filter. It's all a chance, but you can equip yourself to survive with equipment and tools you crafted out of other resources. Unlike hardcore roguelikes, the recipes don't change and don't have to be rediscovered with each run, but practice and luck will still be key to making it far. Optimized for both the gamepad and mouse and keyboard, you can easily navigate scout with either a tilt of the joystick or a click of the mouse. All the actions have been mapped for quick button presses and joystick use on the gamepad, and a systemized layout for the keyboard. As of this beta, the controls can't be remapped, but that should change in a later release. In the meantime, this reviewer found no need to change any keys once he learned how to complete every action on both the gamepad and the keyboard. Almost every interaction or action requires you to hold the interact key for a few seconds as any confirmation that you wanted to do that. It seemed annoying at first, but its purpose soon became clear. In a world where resources are limited and a misclick can ruin your entire run, it'd be a shame if one slip of the finger doomed your character. So that's a nice touch. The landscape and characters are composed of quirky angular cartoon polygons that all worked well together to give this world a surreal storybook feeling. Appropriate for an environment grounded in the mythos of North American wilderness and pioneers. Fires cast a glow on the environment and characters and leave smoke trails. The colors blend wonderfully in the high graphics mode with individual options for shadows, lighting, textures, and anti-aliasing. All can be individually set at low, medium, high, or epic. The interface is hand-drawn, colorful, and easy to read, and plastered on what looks like informational plaques and pamphlets you'd find at a national park. The in-game fonts are bright oranges and whites that contrast nicely against the dark environment, while the interface fonts are dark block letters, which are easy to read, and will fit right on an informational pamphlet warning you about wolf attacks. Acoustic guitars are plenty for the soundtrack and interface noises. Waiting for something to craft in your inventory? Acoustic guitar riff! Consuming some yucca you just dug up? Another acoustic guitar riff! The notes in the riff progress upward, leaving each section of survival on a happy note. In conclusion, the flame in the flood probably isn't the first of its kind, and I'm sure won't be the last. But it's a well-polished, enjoyable and immersive one, with easy-to-learn controls and mechanics, and a quest that anyone should be able to get into. Get the dog home. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to follow us on Twitch and subscribe on YouTube. We are releasing new videos of absolutely new games almost every day, so don't miss them. You can also follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Just click on the links and buttons below. Don't forget that we are making every Wednesday a new giveaway. You can easily win great games, so again, subscribe or visit directly at our site of www.keengamer.com and check what's happening. If you have any questions for me, write them in the comments below. We love to talk to you and we'll answer everyone. Stay keen with Keen Gamer.